In this tutorial series, we are going to create a Twitter clone by using Laravel framework and also Inertia.js and Vue.js uh, for front-end part of our application. So first, let me show you what this application can do. So I already created here account, but for example, we can go and create another account. But as I said, I already created account, so we can go inside this account. So sign up, sign in, I mean. So as you can see, this is profile page. And for example, I can create the, um, a new tweet. I can type for example whoa this is my new tweet and as you can see this uh, tweet is created but we will need to refresh this page uh, because here I need to add also real-time update by uh, Inertia.js but I can go to this tweet I can read this I can like this tweet and for example I can make response so for example let's type here hi there and as you can see, this response appeared here. So as I said, in this tutorial, we're going to create a Raven Twitter clone. There is also other feature, for example, like a, for example, like a bookmarks, likes, other profiles and other many pages. So let's begin. And first step, um, we will need to install Inertia.js with Vue.js in new Laravel application. So let's do this. Okay, so first let's create a new Laravel application. You can create a new, new Laravel app with Laravel C Live if you want. So for example, you can type Laravel new and name of your folder with your application. But I prefer to create a new Laravel application by using Composer. So let's type Composer, create a project, Laravel, Laravel. So here we say that we want to use Laravel package that we want to create a Laravel application and name of folder where, where we're gonna save our project. So in my case, it will be Lara tweet. So Lara tweet. And as you can see now, all dependencies are installing. This is really fast pro process. So let's wait until everything will be installed. And after that, we will install Inertia.js with Vue.js. And as you can see, everything installed successfully. So that means that we can now go to Lara, Lara tweet folder, okay, and open Visual Studio Code. So now let me show you which dependencies you will need to install from for server side and for client side, because so we, we will use here really monolith structure in our application and we will need to install many dependencies, one for server side, for example, a composer package for Inertia.js and also a few packages for NPM for our clean side. And yeah, so first let me open Visual Studio Code. So as you can see, there is my screen, but um, I think that something, yeah, so I need to change size of my screen. Okay, now this looks great. Okay. So as I said, uh, we will need to install some packages for clean side and fun package for server side. So let's do this. Okay, so this is official documentation of Inertia.js. You can find here many information and also really, we, we're going to copy many commands and code for, for here just to configure that we want to use Inertia.js in our application. So firstly, let's install this dependency for Composer for server side. So Composer require Inertia.js, Inertia Laravel. And let me open again my uh, Visual Studio code. And first let's type this command so Composer require Inertia.js, Inertia Laravel. And while this dependency is installing, we can copy this code. This code we will need for app.blade.php uh, files. It will be main a template root file. And so let's get back to Visual Studio Code, open resources, open views folder, and here rename this to app.blade.php. And just past this code. Also, let's add here that we want to use app CSS files that we already have here. Why we will use here app.css file? Uh, that's because we're going to install also Tailwind CSS uh, as CSS framework for our application. Also, as you can see by default, Inertia.js is using Vue.js for Vue.js compilation, or for example, not only for Vue.js, but for uh, compilation of your uh, JS code that that you will write with some uh, front-end framework. Okay, so that's not all that we need for server side because we also need to create a middleware for Inertia.js. So copy this PHP artisan Inertia middleware. This command will automatically create a middleware for Inertia.js. And also we will need to um, include this Inertia middleware 
somewhere inside kernel.php file. So copy this line from server side tutorial, I mean server side setup tutorial from the official documentation and open a folder, go to HTTP and go to kernel.php file and go to middleware groups to web group and uh, paste here this middleware that we just generated by, the, by this command. And now we are able to use inertia.js on server side of our application. Okay, now it's time to make client side setup. So let's open this uh, page on official documentation. So as you can see, as I said, we copy many code because you know, we don't need to um, you know, create something from zero because we already can copy all the stuff from the official documentation and start using inertia.js. So it's time to install all dependencies that we need for client side for front end part of our application. So first let's um, type here npm install inertia.js view, but also, yeah, we will need to install view package and also um, we will need to install uh, VGS plugin view. So as I said, we are using inertia.js by default is using VGS and by using this cool, we can say a library for uh, compiling our code and configuration, we can easily start using here VGS uh, plugin. And I mean, with VGS, it's really easy to start using VGS in your Laravel application. So just type here VGS plugin view and let's install all these dependencies. Also, soon we're going to install Tailwind CSS and um, we will also need to install some NPM dependencies for Tailwind. Okay, so now let's import this uh, view plugin for uh, from VGS plugin view package, but here I will just type view and here you will need just to call view function and that's all. Yeah, that's all that you need uh, for vconfig.js file. Now let's go to app.js. Also, you will need to delete bootstrap.js file because we will uh, use only app.js file uh, to for our app and open again client side setup and just copy all this code also you can as you can see there is documentation how to install this uh, inertia.js for react or for example for svelte also you can find uh, my tutorials where i talking about how to use react and inertia.js or how to use svelte and inertia.js in laravel applications okay so now as i said you will need to copy this code from the clean side and pass it inside app.js and that's all that we need okay and as you can see all pages all components will be saved inside pages folder that we will create here inside js folder and first let's create here test component that will be named for example test view let's type here some template and let's close me this stuff and let's type here just hello world for example just traditional example hope to use um you know not just simple example <laughs> so now let's create a uh, controllers that will be named for example I don't know maybe home controller or maybe maybe let's uh, yeah let's name this controller home controller yeah this controller successfully created now let's import inertia package inertia inertia and we will use this inertia class to render this components that we just created inside pages folder so as i said inside this pages folder remember we will save all vgs components that we are going to use in our application so now we can type inertia render uh, render test and that's all that we need so i can see some error an expert return oh i forget sorry i forget to create c1 function so for example uh, public function index and return inertia render test. So this will automatically go to pages folder and find this component. So we don't need to type here extension of our component. Okay, so now it's time to open roads for main roads file for web and let's first import this home controller that we just created. So web HTTP controllers, I'm typing full path to my controller. So home controller and let's render this, uh, let's call this function index uh, when we visit, for example, home page. So class index. Okay, I think that's all that we need. And now we will need to run npm run dev. Uh, this is for, this is watch mod dev for VGS to compile VGS code that we will write 
and also let's run a logger server of the application so we can say up here uh, php artisan serve let's copy this address and now let's open the browser and type this address here and as you can see we have error because app http controller does not exist so it uh, looks like i forget to add here s controllers because as you can see here we have controllers folder not controller okay and let's refresh this and as you can see now we see hello world and also we can try to use here vue.js dev tools and as you can see vue.js is detected on this page and here we have test components that we just created so that means that we successfully installed inertia.js with vue.js on our in our laravel application so now it's time to install tailwind css and soon we're going to create the first controllers pages that we are going to use uh, for authorization in our application if you open official documentation of tailwind css you already can find here um, guide how to install tailwind css in your laravel application so all what you need to do is just copy these commands so npm install tailwind css post css after prefixer and this will install uh, dependencies that we need for Tailwind CSS and PM dependencies. So let's install this stuff and also let's copy this command and PM Tailwind init p. This will initialize configuration files for Tailwind CSS. So let's type in px Tailwind init. And as you can see, we now have Tailwind config.js and post CSS config.js. Now open Tailwind config.js because we also need to write here um, small configuration. And yeah, let's just copy this content open this file and type here this content and as you can see this will compile uh, code also from our vgs components that we'll have in resources folder okay and now we need to include this tailwind base components utilities in our app that css file so let's go to resources css that css so this will um, include uh, CS all stuff from the tailwind css all components and other things and also we will need to um, run npm run dev again so let's refresh it npm run dev and now let's run local server of the application also again so npm run there i mean php artisan run server okay and let's go to local server of the application so let's refresh it and as you can see font size uh, i mean font family changes so that means that uh tailwind css connected and we can start using tailwind css with inertia js and vue.js in our laravel app so that was the first lesson where we installed all dependencies and we created new laravel application so thanks for watching and in the next video we are going to start making authorization uh, pages for our app